Hello friends. In addition to the Easter Vigil being the most significant liturgical celebration of the church, I, a lover of candles and of the light and warmth they offer, reminding me, I think always of Jesus' presence in my heart, always look forward to the blessing of the new fire and the lighting of the Paschal candle as the Easter Vigil celebration begins. Of course, this year, unfortunately, most of us celebrated this event virtually. This sacred blessing and lighting of the Paschal candle deepens my joy every year as I am reminded again and again that each of us has the privilege of witnessing to a faith that offers new life to those who embrace it. It reminds us that we are the messengers of hopefulness. Hopefulness is something active. It asks us to keep affirming to all by our lives that it is possible to affect positive changes in our families, our communities, our parishes, our workplaces, and in our world. We can change stagnant ponds into bubbling springs of new life. As Mother Teresa says, I alone cannot change the world but I can cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. We can do this because we are the committed disciples of the one who said, Behold, I am making all things new. I have also always been impressed by the motto of the Christopher Movement, founded by Father James Keller in 1945. The motto is, It is better to light one candle than to curse the darkness. We don't need many reminders to be aware of the pall of darkness covering our world. However, we do need to constantly remind ourselves of the light we have been given to share. As when the light of a candle is shared, its light is not diminished. So share the light, whether it be a prayer, smile, kind word, and or deed, to those closest to you first. They will likely do the same thus spreading the contagious virus, virus of the light and love of Jesus, which we pray will be spread everywhere. So always remember that just as the darkness of the Easter Vigil is dispelled only by the taking and sharing of the light of the Easter candle, so too can we be convincing witnesses of the faith to each other and to our brothers and sisters as we continue to be energized by our relationship with the risen Jesus, our life and light. So I pray that the love of Jesus will shine brightly in 